Hey, what's up everyone? Game Dad here. Now, recently I picked up the Epic Mickey rebrushed game on the Switch, and one thing that I didn't know that it came with was this guy right here. And what this is, is a GameStop exclusive Epic Mickey rebrushed uh, controller skin. And I thought, well, that's kind of cool. Neat. What controller does it go to? Um, well, it goes to the GameStop Candy Cons. I did not have one of those controllers, but I had heard some good things from Jay over at Square Pigs. I, now, what was really cool about this is having like the GameStop Pro and everything, if you bought the controller, then you also got another skin. So another little shell cover right there. So I got both of these. I'm obviously gonna use the Mickey one, but I had to pick up a purple since it was free. And the Mickey one comes with uh, white joysticks and white buttons, but I also picked up these uh, white and teal ones because I thought that would go nicely. But then, of course, what I had to pick up was the base unit, the CandyCon base unit. And what's really cool about this controller is it is wireless, it's Bluetooth, it's compatible with Switch and PC, and it's modifiable. Everything in it is hot swappable, just like an Elite controller or anything like that. So right here you can see CandyCon base unit. So what we're gonna do today is crack this open. I'm gonna give you my first thoughts on it because I have never actually used one of these CandyCons before, but it looked cool. It doesn't break the bank for what it is. And I wanna use that Mickey skin. So let's go ahead and open this up. So here's what comes in the box. We have a little dongle here. And I'm assuming this is for like 2.4 gigahertz, something like that, because you shouldn't need it for a switch, I wouldn't think, but it comes with a little USB dongle. And then we have a type A to type C charger. If I had to guess, that's a six foot cable. And then right here we have the controller itself. Oh, wow, that's, that's super grippy on the back, like listen. That's the texture that's on there. And apparently it's even got uh, some memory buttons. Ooh, very clicky. Ooh, I like those buttons too. The buttons feel really nice on it. And then it has the joysticks uh, where you can just swap on your new sticks there. It's got the thing for the D-pad. So let's go ahead and put this thing together. Let's see, I want to open this one because this one looks really awesome. I really like the Epic Mickey games. I, I thought that they were fantastic. And I don't know, something about this controller plate in particular with the whites and the blues and everything on there, it just looks really cool. So I definitely want to be able to give this some use. Now I can't give you a first impression of this because the whole like face plate isn't on it and it feels awkward as hell. But let's see how this thing feels. Anything else that's special in here? Nope. It is a faceplate and some buttons that are hard to take off. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool actually. So in here, as everything drops, uh, they give you sort of that aqua blue for the sticks and they give you two different D-pads. They give you a white one and a blue one. So I'm thinking, I'm gonna go with the blue ones. Let's see, uh, let's see how those are. Now these, they are keyed, uh, meaning the little joystick shafts can only go in one way on here. So we're gonna go ahead and push that on. And I dropped one of them. You do have to push kind of hard. So we push that down. Boy, you really gotta line those up though. There it is. Okay, so sticks are on. Let's go ahead and throw on the blue D-pad. And it's more of that dial that I like, like with the uh, Xbox Elite controller. I enjoy the dial a lot more than a regular D-pad. All right, so that just kind of pushes in and it looks like everything on here is magnetic. That reminds me of the Power A Fusion controller for the Switch. And we just slap that on and it's done. Wow, that is, that is very straightforward, very simple to do. So that's what it looks like with that color scheme in there. Let's see, uh, let's just swap it out real quick. We'll go ahead and put the white D-pad and white joysticks on. Let's see, so we can just take this right off, I think. Boy, that D-pad really sticks on there. So it's not using magnets for the actual parts, it's just using uh, kind of pressure. So, oh, they only give you one set of sticks with this one though. So we'll do that. Let's see what the regular D-pad looks like. So that's what it's like with the regular D-pad in there. I mean, that's not bad either. The texture on it is nice. These are super clicky. It feels nice in the hand. 
it's not super lightweight, but it's not as heavy as personally I would like. I really like the Fusion controller. That one, that's okay. It's not terrible. This comes off super easy, but yeah, let's get rid of this D-pad because I like this blue one a lot more. And they do have an arrow on it so you know what way to put that on. But there's that. Let's go ahead and look at the purple faceplate going on here really quick. We have it, might as well. They're interchangeable, quick and dirty. Wow, that is, that is glossy, very smooth. And this one is more of like a matte texture. Let's go ahead and take that one off, slap this one on. Nice. And there you go. And then of course I've got the other buttons and stuff that came with uh, getting the kit. This, I will say, it doesn't have any kind of like indents or anything like that. It's it's very plain looking with just a solid color on there. So yeah, I am definitely going with Mickey and that is a great looking controller. Feels great. And first impressions, I'm impressed. I like it. Oh, and you have a switch on the uh, bottom if you want to do PC or if you want to do Nintendo Switch. So let's go ahead and uh, flip that over, of course. And there we go. That is a candy con with its base unit, the Epic Mickey rebrushed skin on there, and uh, some custom uh, D-pad and joystick action. Very cool. So there you have it, everyone. A nice, uh, quick and dirty unboxing of the candy con uh, game pad or whatever they want to call it. I don't think they have a specific name. A CandyCon base unit and it has the Disney Epic Mickey rebrushed uh, controller top on there and yeah this is awesome. I'm gonna be uh, testing this out and seeing how I like it but first impressions I like it. It's nice. It's got really clicky buttons and feels good in the hand. It's got a nice grip to it so yeah very nice. Now, if you wanna see another recent video, then go ahead and check out this area right here. And as always, I'm Game Dad. I thank you all for watching and I'll catch you later.